Welcome to 3D PolySub. Just to introduce our 3D sublimation machinery, this is our A3 machine, which or an A3 oven, which allows you to do many things. Um, you can have it in many versions. Uh, you can have it to print uh, mug in porcelain and or ceramics. Um, uh, you can also have it as a full version build machine, which will do everything, including. Uh, film wrapping, phone cases and ceramics and everything else pretty much. So there are many builds on it. So anyway, today we're just introducing the machine for film uh, printing phone cases. We supply a print template which uh, you use to import your pictures, which you see here. Got four pictures of the four up machine, so it prints four cases at one go, one iPad or one iPad mini. So you then import the pictures and send it to the printer. There are many printers you can use. We use the Epson range of printers, but uh, there's the Ricoh A4, Ricoh A3 machine, which are very good. Um, as you can see, the films. This is the media. This is the film, and it's now been printed uh, with our images, ready to go. Okay. Well, whilst we're waiting for our film to dry, because you have to let the inks dry for a few minutes before. You put them in the oven, otherwise it will gas and uh, and the case will not be very good. So uh, we're now prepare our tray. This is the tray, the A3 tray, which goes in this oven. Uh, it's a vacuum tray, as you can see. It has a vacuum port on the front, which sucks up into the oven itself. This is the template, the template which uh, basically positions the, the jigs. I've already preheated the jigs in the oven, so I'm just going to them in place. Um, you preheat them to about 50, 55, 60 degrees C and uh, they're ready to go. They always have to be that sort of temperature to get the correct print. Okay well they're now all positioned in our tray so we'll put some covers on them next. These are, this is the iPhone 4. Uh, make sure there's no bits or Anything on the covers when you put them on. Otherwise, if you do, it will uh, ruin your imaging when you put the film on. Because they're all nice and clean and ready to go in position. Okay, as you can see. So uh, now we will um, put the film in. Okay, so we we'll just place the film in the tr on the frame itself in position. Clips down. It's quite awkward to do when you've got a camera in one hand. Okay, here we are. Okay, so that's the film all fitted, ready to go. So now we're going to uh, just check our oven and make sure everything's ready to go with the oven. Okay, our oven is ready to go. So we're now um, put the tray in the oven. switch cycle on. The machine will now preheat the film and the vacuum will switch on automatically.
when the temperature gets to 125, the vacuum will switch on. Taking the film all off now. As you can see the images. Nice, clear, crisp images. And there we are. 3D poly sub, 3D printing. Full case at one time. One iPad, one iPad mini at one time. <coughs> taking the time to watch the video with us. Um, obviously we'd be pleased to help you in any way if you have any questions or um, if you're interested to discuss the machine uh, please call us on the numbers that are on the screen now and uh, we sort of do our support by Skype so if you purchase the machine we can come help you if you have any issues or problems. Okay, thank you very much for joining me.